Hello, my name's Anne Labar and I'm the vicar of Seal Church and I've got a story today for the children of Seal Primary School and anyone else who wants to watch it. But before I tell you the story, we're going to light our candle as we always do before collective worship in Seal School. So here we go, let's see if it will light. And I'm going to tell a story today from the New Testament and it's from the Gospel of St Luke and it's a story about a tax collector called Zacchaeus. Tax collecting today is a good job. Taxes are the money that we pay for all the things we share like roads and hospitals and schools. If we didn't pay it then we wouldn't have any of those things. But at the time of Jesus when this story was set it was very different. The land where Jesus lived was ruled over by the Romans and they'd sent in their soldiers and the soldiers were very cruel and very brutal but they made everyone do what the Romans said they should and to pay for those soldiers they needed money so all the taxes that were collected went to pay for the very soldiers that were making people's lives miserable so no wonder no one liked tax collectors and no one liked Zacchaeus. But Zacchaeus had grown very rich because like a lot of tax collectors he wasn't always very honest. He would take some money for the Romans but he'd take some money for himself as well. Anyway one day Zacchaeus heard some exciting news. He heard that Jesus was coming to his town of Jericho. Now he'd heard about Jesus how he was a good storyteller and how he healed people and how he was a friend to people who didn't have any other friend. And for some reason Zacchaeus knew that he really wanted to see Jesus. So he went out into the streets hoping that he'd be there when Jesus passed by. But the problem was everyone else had had the same idea. The streets were packed with people. And poor Zacchaeus wasn't very tall, so he couldn't see over their heads at all. And he couldn't push his way through the crowd, because nobody wanted to let him through. We're not letting that tax collector through, they said. So what was he going to do? Well, the street where he was standing was lined with trees. And Zacchaeus looked at the tree he was standing under and he thought, hmm, that branch there isn't so very high up. I wonder if I could climb that tree to get a better view. So he reached up the branch, he heaved himself up onto it and then he thought well perhaps I can go a little higher. Up and up he climbed up the tree until he was completely hidden by its leaves and its branches. That was a good place to be because no one could see him up there and so no one could say anything nasty to him. But it was also, of course, a good place to be because he got a brilliant view. And as he sat in the tree, he could see right down the road. And there was Jesus coming towards him down that road. And as he watched, he saw that Jesus was talking to people. He looked so kind and gentle. And Zacchaeus thought, wouldn't it be great if Jesus talked to me? But then he thought, well, of course he won't because I'm a tax collector and nobody talks to tax collectors. Anyway Jesus came closer and closer until he was standing right under the tree where Zacchaeus was hiding and, Zacchaeus, and Jesus stopped there and he stopped right under the tree and then he lifted up his head and he looked up into the branches and he called out Zacchaeus hurry and come down I'm coming to your house today and Zacchaeus thought what? What? How does he know my name? Maybe there's someone else called Zacchaeus up this tree. But of course there wasn't. And Jesus called, come on Zacchaeus, hurry up, come down, I'm coming to your house. And so Zacchaeus did come down. He clambered down and he scrambled down and he tumbled down and he landed in a great heap at Jesus' feet. As he was starting to get up though, he heard the crowd around him muttering and rumbling and mumbling. What's Jesus doing? they said. Why is he going to Zacchaeus' house? Doesn't he know that Zacchaeus is a bad man? 
and Zacchaeus as he stood up thought well actually I am quite a bad man I have done wrong things but you know I wonder I wonder if I could change and he looked at Jesus and Jesus looked at him and suddenly Zacchaeus knew he could change because he saw how much Jesus loved him and he said to Jesus Jesus half of everything I've got all my riches all my possessions I'm going to give away to the poor and if I've cheated anyone I'm going to give them back four times as much as I took from them how about that can I change and Jesus smiled at him and then Jesus looked at the crowd and he said did you see that Zacchaeus is loved by God Zacchaeus is one of God's children just as we all are and so I've come today to Zacchaeus house so that he knows that to help him be the person God meant him to be to help him to change what do you think about that and that's the end of the story we leave them standing there in the road everybody thinking and wondering and maybe you're wondering too I wonder what you're wondering I wonder what the best bit of that story was I wonder what you thought of it perhaps you could talk to the people that you're with about that story and about what you think of it but it's time for us to finish now but before we do we need to blow out the candle of course so are you going to help okay I'll count to three and then we'll blow here we go one two three blow there we are and that's all we've got time for today so bye for now